today is uh, going to be a little bit of a chicken day for us. Uh, we've got a couple of jobs that we're hoping to get done, uh, all pretty small, uh, but we kind of wanted to go around, take a look at them all, and uh, yeah, show them off if they'll stand still long enough. So we'll go take a look at who we got. So here's something that uh, basically when we're deciding who gets to stay as far as a rooster and hens to a degree um, that we use uh, to sort of help guide that. And basically this is from the American Standard of Perfection which is uh, like basically the textbook on what poultry standard bred poultry should look like and of course it includes a lot of breeds. Now a lot of people kind of think so why does this really matter and for some maybe it doesn't but for us given that we do keep the partridge shawn eclairs this is kind of what was said as sort of the ideal in terms of body shape and to a lesser extent plumage uh, keeping in mind that obviously this is a drawing. <laughs> um, but you can see one thing about this breed, uh, we always say it's the saddle appearance. Uh, like a really nice rooster almost should look, by the way they hold their tail, hold their head and, and the fullness in the, the breast and whatnot. Like you could put a saddle on there and uh, ride them around the farmyard. And the hens have it to a degree too. You'll see some of our roosters are quite similar to this and some are not. Another thing is sort of the hue of the feathers, which is, is a minor thing. Uh, some people get really caught up in it. We tend to use this exactly for what it was intended. It's a guide um, to kind of keep your birds... You'll, you'll never get them perfect. They'll never be perfect. There'll always be room for improvement. But um, I think the, the most important piece from this, these standards uh, definitely are the body shape. Because that body shape usually relates back to the production qualities. In this case, the Sean Declare is known for being an excellent meat bird, I believe. And I will probably, it's bad that I don't know this, but I'm pretty sure Walter E. Franklin may have been the one that uh, created the Partridge Sean Declare. This standard's been around for a very long time, and uh, to be honest, I think that in itself is kind of a, a merit for using it as a guide. So let's go take a look at some of the roosters. So this one right here is our purple rooster. So he's a 2020 young one as well, and uh, lighting's not the best at the moment, but uh, he is uh, a very nice rooster. He's really good with the hens. He's actually pretty good size, pretty well built, this is but, <laughs> but uh, he's uh, going to be out today foraging with the cows and the horses. Another great example of uh, partridge on declares in hardiness for winter. Look at him out in the snow and... Yeah, snow doesn't phase them. Yeah. They don't hide inside. Nope. This one is our green rooster. He's a little bit on the lighter side for partridge on declares. But uh, that's all right. We don't mind that. And he's in with the uh, <coughs> excuse me, the yellow hens. But um, he's a really nice rooster. Um, still got a little bit of growing to do because he's one of the younger ones. But uh, he has excellent temperament. He's very black on the breast, and uh, he's not as big as some of them. But uh, I kind of imagine he'll come into that over the winter because, like I say, he's he's younger. He was one of the uh, one of the two chicks that uh, Phoebe hatched out. They weren't hers, but they were from the green hen. So, uh, yeah, he's uh, looking pretty good. We're definitely going to keep him. He's got, uh, he's great with the hens, which is something we definitely look for. So, here's Miles' rooster. So he's the, uh, the fifth rooster, I guess, that we're going to have uh, for 2021. And uh, he's quite nice. He's got very good uh, confirmation. He's a very tall rooster but uh, he's also got great temperament. Oh, do you see the crow? I imagine that's what it is. 
That's one thing about the selecting roosters. We tend to like the roosters that talk a lot to the hens, whether it's actually keeping an eye out for predators, well, or potential predators, or uh, whether it's calling them over to because uh, they found something really good to eat, etc. Um, and those roosters also tend to be the ones that dance, and uh, it's not really the right time of year to get a good video of that, but we will uh, we will get something on that in the near future because we find the dancing roosters are the best with the hens. So this big fellow is our blue rooster, so he's actually the oldest, not the oldest chicken, but he's the oldest rooster here. He's three, I think. Um, anyways, he's very large, as you can kind of see. Um, his tail, I don't know, he held it down rather than up. So he's got a bit of a slight confirmation thing, but he has an excellent, excellent temperament. He's, uh, he's funny because he follows us around, but he just follows us around for food and he's extremely well-mannered. To the point, even uh, a lot of the young roosters we've had this year, everybody knows he's the boss, but uh, he doesn't really, uh, doesn't really push it with anybody, so probably get to stay for quite a few years and he's excellent with the hens too. He's our orange rooster and uh, another young basically they're all uh, younger uh, younger 2020 birds but uh, he's a really nice one as he goes around the corner of the box is he gonna come out the other side yeah he's coming he's thinking about it but yeah he's a nice uh, <laughs> he keeps hiding anyways he's a nice bird both temperament and uh, um, confirmation wise. That's kind of a brief look at uh, all of the roosters we're going to be keeping for next year's uh, breedings for our various groups of chickens. Uh, they weren't all super cooperative, so I apologize about that. But uh, the last little one here that I just filmed who uh, went and hit around the corner has come back. Anyways, that's kind of a glimpse of what's going to be going on here next year. <laughs> 